Hi, Craig Morley here. We're going through the comparison between the Apple iPad Pro 2020 and the Samsung 10 Plus. I have both of these devices. I like them both. The question is, if I'm going to pick one of the two, which one is the most practical as an appraisal tool in collecting data? So we're going to have some practical illustrations of the use of each of these two devices and the uh, comparison, and then you can decide. Okay, today we're <coughs> comparing the Apple iPad as compared to the Note, the Samsung Note Plus, 10 Plus, which I have and I really like it. Uh, so I've got a, a file that I've downloaded, and uh, we're opening that up. And one of the things that I always do is put my complete work file in the uh, application in, in the file. So if I come down and see the little folder there, tap that, and then I open this up, it, it's downloaded all of the information for from the public records, which then gives me the sketch, which allows me to go in and make some notes to that. I'm going to take a picture or two. This is using just the standard camera setting for that. Now in this, I have to say yes, use the picture or not. Now let's say I want to retake that. I'm going to take this and if I hit the little 1x, if I hit that, that's the wide angle. Gives me a wider shot. Now what I'm finding is the uh, iPad's <coughs> wide angle is good. It's not as good as the, it's not as wide as the uh, as the uh, Samsung. So I'm going to come back down to my county record. If I, I, in this one, in order to be able to edit it, I have to upload it. I've got to go find the app that I want to use, which is my XODO. With the, app, with the uh, Samsung, I don't have to do that. It just automatically has been identified as the application I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do is come over. I've got my handy little laser. I'm going to be able to measure across and determine. Now with this, I have to go in and identify that I want to put it in this edit mode. I measure across. It says it's 11 feet, 11 inches. I'm going to round it to 12. I can make that note right on my PDF. It saves it. So in this case, it's uh, 12, 22 feet, 9 inches, and I can make that. With the Apple iPad, it has a built-in measuring tool that's on the desktop. I'm demonstrating how this works. You mark the corner, you go across, and then uh, tap when you're done. It'll draw a little section to show you when you're there, and then it identifies the distance. Now, you will notice that uh, when we had done that before, it was 11 feet 9 inches, which is probably just a rounding difference. When you come across the front, even with uh, protrusions, I get to the corner, identify it, it uh, measures it, and it was exactly the same as what we had with the laser. So when we go and measure again from the corner to the inside wall, uh, you just walk over, you don't have to stand or pivot, identify the corner that you want, mark it, and it puts it, and I've got this little table that summarizes the, uh, the uh, dimensions that have been uh, obtained. And they work really good for being able to then go input that information into your sketch without having to use a laser. The thing that's nice is if doors are open or windows, it will still measure it accurately. With the uh, Android version of the measurement tool, it's pretty glitchy. I had all kinds of problems with it uh, dying, as you will see in just a little bit. Using the Total Mobile app for data collection with the Samsung Note 10 Plus has worked pretty well. We had shown on the Apple iPad how you can use the uh, text or the uh, PDF and make notes on the property. I actually like my Note Plus just a little better because uh, what it does is it allows me to be able to go in and 
draw more seamlessly. I don't have to upload the file. So if I'm, in this case, they've overlaid the basement with the main floor, so I can kind of sketch out. So I'm going to go downstairs and figure out the floor plan, and I want to get a little bit of an idea how this all works out. So I can kind of sketch this out so that I can make sure that I've got the can diagram the the thing that's really nice is these things scale real easy. So you've got a bedroom here, you've got a bedroom here. I'm writing with my little stylus that comes with this. I've got a bathroom, I've got a mechanical room there, I've got a family room here. And then <clears throat> there's a storage room here. You've got the steps right here. And you've got another bedroom and a bath. And you, it's nice because you can <clears throat> make a few notes. This is the basement. Fortunately, you don't have to read my writing. I can try to figure it out. And then there's a little loft that uh, I need to diagram. And uh, so I can do that. And then have a little family room here. This comes over, got a bathroom and a bedroom. Now the nice thing is, is that <clears throat> You can make notes on this, and, and it's pretty easy to do that. And then when you're done, when you put your stylus back in the machine, it takes care of it. You tap it, hit the multi-level. I now come to that, and I can now go in and begin to take photos. Give you an idea. What This is a standard mode on the Samsung, and it covers quite a bit of area. But if I want to go to the wide angle, I'm just going to go to the camera so that you can see the difference between... <clears throat> now, if you're looking, <clears throat> on the right, there's three little icons. Again, that's the standard. If I hit the lower one, that will show you what the wide angle does, and it's really quite impressive. It's got an optical zoom for at the top, which will zoom it right in. But you look at that. This is your standard 1x. And then this is half of that, and it, it really picks up a lot of area. So if I decide I want that, I can take the picture. I can then come back to my total mobile app. <clears throat> I can come over here and say, pull it off my uh, gallery. And then I can just put that in so that I've got that wider angle shot with it. So it is a really handy thing. One of the things that uh, we don't utilize as well as we could is the uh, some of the data collection ability and when you're doing the actual sketch using the uh, <clears throat> when you're using this I'm just going to do something very quickly so I, I'm just going to I can swipe which is really handy and just And then uh, get something that approximates some living space here. And so it's now asking. Okay, with that, I can now come and uh, say, okay, I want to move my cursor over here. I'm going to draw again and add two feet. Now I want to activate that, so I'm going to hit enter, go two feet over. I'm going to go 24 feet down. 30 feet. Now I'm going to go ahead and just swipe it up and close it. I'm going to call that a garage <clears throat> so I can identify what that is. And uh, three car attached. So <clears throat> with that, I can then uh, identify that. Now if I come in and define these different spaces, I'm going to call, put a dining room in, and if I double tap that dining room, then it pulls this up and I can now start to type in the kinds of uh, floor coverings and uh, walls, and it just makes it really handy if, if I'm trying to get uh, a lot of collection information. Now, oftentimes, I'm going to be getting this from my photos, but you've got a place where you can put your repairs in, uh, you've got a section for comments, you can do the doors, ceilings, fans, 
But here's the beauty, is that I can now tap that and get a uh, get to where I can get a picture of the kitchen, and it saves it and labels it, which is really nice. That's actually the kitchen instead of the dining room, so I so I don't like that. I can I can just retake it, say okay, this is the dining room, and if I want to get another photo. Say I've got a view out of the dining room. I want to get a picture of that so that I can identify a special characteristic. I can do that. If I want another picture that shows access out onto the deck or something, I can do that. And it labels all of those things in there so that it uh, is, is very handy in terms of trying to uh, get that taken care of. So that summarizes just a few of the characteristics that you've got with the Total Mobile app that you might find handy. Okay, I have de downloaded the measurement tool uh, that is available on the App Store for the Android. Just going to use it as compared to the using of the uh, built-in measurement tool within the Apple iPhone. So we're going to tap that application. It says now first move around. It wants to be able to find some area to be able to do the recording. Now this is what happens to me when I use this is it dies frequently. So it's trying to find the spaces there. And okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to a point. I'm going to identify the corner, which is right there. I'm going to hit the plus, plus. I didn't get that exactly right. I'm going to come down and measure this. I'm finding the corner there. Hit it and see what it says. Okay, that was it. it says it's 247 inches. So now I'm going to come over here and hit the plus. Come over here. Now what you find is it does not like windows. So when I come in and hit this, and if I'm trying to measure across and I hit glass, it sometimes will not work. Okay. So, saying that was 73 inches. So let's measure it to see what the laser says it is. The laser says it's 6 feet 10 inches. So probably not too far off. But the problem I have is the application is really glitchy and drops off frequently. If you're in dark rooms or areas where there's not a lot of in, uh, not not a lot of light or there's not a lot of contrast, it has a really hard time getting that to work. So I come here, I find the corner, I hit the plus, I come over here, find the corner. Check it. Yeah, so it, the, the app is not that stable, at least on my platform. So anyway, it'll do it, but not consistently. Not something I'd recommend as a primary tool in trying to measure stuff. Hopefully that's helpful. I think in the final analysis, if I had to pick a single device for data collection, it would probably be the Samsung Note Plus. The camera set is very good. It's uh, big, but not so big that it's not practical. I've got all of my uh, data uh, av available. I have all of my apps that I can use for electronic lock boxes. I can search the MLS. Occasionally we'll get in situations where I need to find something and I can search the MLS. I've got it tied to my uh, web browser so that I've got saved in favorites all of the uh, MLS systems that I routinely use, which then allows me to uh, look stuff up on the fly, which works really well. And while it's not as easy to see as the iPad, it's fairly functional. 
The iPad, on the other hand, is nice because you've got a bigger screen. It's easier to see. You've got some handles that you can put on that make it pretty easy to uh, take pictures, although taking photos out your car window with a tablet is a little less convenient than with the phone. And so <clears throat> between the two, they're both very good devices. There's things I like a little better about the iPad than the uh, Note Plus. But if I had to pick one that I was going to use all the time, it would be the Samsung Note Plus. Hope this is interesting for you, and uh, we'll be coming back at you with some new technologies on data collection on the next round.